Hey guys, welcome back for yet another video. Today I'm going to be playing in a gorgeous lace wig from RPG Hair. Now they sent over some goodies with the wig and they also sent over an extra wig. So there will be two back-to-back -back reviews coming from this company. Today I'm going to be working on the first one and it's this gorgeous beauty right here. Um, she's a machine wefted silky straight lace wig in the length 14 inches, 130% density. If you go to the website, I have all the details in the description bar where you can click the link and shop. She is a little bit different than a lot of the ones that I normally will, um, you know, review here on my channel. In the sense that she has a smaller closure, this makes it easier for a lot of us beauties who are starting out in the game and don't want to deal with like a lace, full lace closure or full lace frontal. This is a much simpler and easier technique. Now the length, I'm sorry, the texture on this hair is Indian Remian hair. Um, it's silky straight as I said before, but as you guys can see it has a little bit of a bounce and a wave to it. This lets me know that when I go ahead and curl it, it's going to be super, super easy and it's going to hold that curl. And we're definitely going to be doing some wand curls today, so stay tuned for that. But before we get to that, we're definitely going to go ahead and make the wig look as natural as possible. At this point, I decided to go ahead and bond the wig down using my Got To Be Glued Free Spray. This is going to help to hold it in place because this one definitely will slide back on me. An alternative is to also add an elastic band and it definitely will work out great for you. I probably would do both just because on days that I don't want to, you know, Got To Be Glue it down, I know it'll stay and be glueless. I'm also going to open up the parting just a little bit by tweezing the very, very front. Even though it was, you know, open before, I kind of feel like with these types of closures, it helps to make it look a little bit more realistic. Stick. I'm going to go in with a powder to go ahead and make it blend with my skin and I'm also going to work on the crown area using my wax stick to kind of lay everything down a little bit of heat off camera to go ahead and make everything a little bit more sleek and you know just kind of look more like it's coming out of my scalp another thing that I did a little bit interesting was to create baby hair now as you guys can see when I pull this back it's not a lace closure where you you know have lace that's pre-plucked and all that so I didn't even want to you know tamper with it and kind of like pluck it out even though you definitely could Good. I kind of just went with what they had and kind of just made baby hair so that you know when the wind blows it kind of looks like there's some baby hair underneath but it's not prominent um, in a sense of a traditional you know lace front wig or lace frontal wig uh, so to speak. I am going to use my foam lotion as my edge control of choice and this is my favorite just because it works very well at making and forming the baby hair but also not making it look like it's like gel to my scalp so to speak. Also, if you want to make it lay flat, you can definitely put a scarf around it. You guys know that's my OG classic way of doing things. When I'm, you know, in my free time, if I have on a wig, I'll just put on a scarf around the crown so that everything lays flat and in place and neat. So when it's time to go, I am literally ready to go. So this one definitely took a little bit of finesse. Like I said, normally I would do like a frontal, um, but I think it came out pretty good considering, you know, the type of wig it is. I'm going to take my serum of choice right now and just add it. I just want the curls to be nice and smooth and sleek and have a nice little shine to them without weighing it down. And this product definitely works for me. I forgot to add a heat protectant, um, so I definitely added a little bit of that as well. And we're going to go ahead and wand curl all the way through. I am wand curling on each side away from my face till you meet in the middle in the back and you're going to see the results in just a moment also i'm going to go ahead and spray them down with a little bit of my sebastian shapers for a little bit of hold and you'll see the results in just a moment
Now here are the results. I'm absolutely blown away with how this one came out. I definitely um, was a little bit nervous in the beginning because it did look a little bit wiggy, but I was able to pull it off. I think it looks nice, subtle, simple, natural. It's very, very low maintenance for those of us who don't want a lot of work or you know, if you're a beginner and you just don't know how to work the frontal game, I highly recommend this one. And the icing on the cake is that she is super affordable. I'm taking my wide tooth comb and I'm gonna go ahead and comb out the comb or comb out the comb, comb out the curl a little bit and just kind of make them frame my face really nicely and beautifully all in all I absolutely love this one make sure you check her out she's from RPG hair linked in the description bar also don't forget to subscribe like this video share with your friends and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches